Hi guys, Danny here again. Just letting you, just filming another uh, traffic control video. This time I have a little bit of advice for you to maybe consider. Um, when I first started doing traffic control, I remember they gave me the PPE and they tried giving me a night wand, which is like a glow in the, like, it's like a battery powered wand. Like a bit, l saber, like a w Star Wars saber, beat saber, whatever they're called. And I said, look, I don't want it. I'm not going to work night shifts. I don't want it. And I said, take it anyway, just in case. I'm, no, I'm not going to take it. I don't want it. It's a waste. And now, uh, what happened a few months ago? Probably about two months ago now? I, I didn't get called out for like two or three days. And I'm like, well, something's wrong. I rang up the rostering lady. And I thought, what's it go? I haven't even had any jobs. She's like, oh, sorry. We, we haven't been that busy. I'll give you some work today. And I'm like, all right, what time? And she's like, okay, 4 p.m. It was about midday when I called her. She said, 4 p.m., I can have another shift. I'm like, sweet. I was thinking it was going to be a four-hour min, maybe work two to four hours and get home and it would all be good. As it turns out, I was there till one in the morning. And I, had you told me that in the past, I'd go, man, that would really suck. That would really take it on your body. But I never had a better time doing traffic control. It's, it's never been so good. Night shifts. Ah, oh, that was my first taste of night shifts. And I've got to say, I absolutely loved it. It was nice and cool. The sun wasn't an issue. There was, you don't have to worry about avoiding the sun or standing in the shade. Some ways of staying cool, however the fuck you can stay cool. You don't have to worry about urinating because you're not drinking anywhere near as much as what you would if you worked during the day. Anyway. So I spent, I, I, I finished up at one o'clock and I drove home, I probably got home at about two and I went to bed and I went straight to sleep. I woke up the next morning at about 11 a.m. And the next morning when I woke up, I rang the rostering lady and I'm like, look, I'll, I'm hooked on the night shifts. I want you to only put me on night shifts. And ever since then, probably about two months ago, one to two months ago now, she hasn't put me on a single day shift. They've all been night shifts. So the benefits of night shifts Number one, number one benefit, the best thing about night shifts is that 90% of the traffic is gone. There's no traffic at night. Especially, like, the longer you wait, the less traffic you get. Some, sometimes I work, like, 10 hours at night. I start at 6.30, what's that, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, 4.30, 30, I finish. I'm home by about 5.30, sleep for another seven hours. And I'm up and I've got the rest of the afternoon to myself to do whatever needs to be done. And then boom, go to work again. Now the second best thing about it, the first thing is that there's not enough, there's nowhere near as much traffic. It's quiet as anything. It's super quiet. And you just find that you're just hanging around. There's no, it's, the work intensity is nowhere near as bad. So that's, that's number one. Number two is that it pays better. With my job, I, I normally get 32 bucks an hour. Now I'm getting 39, over $39 an hour. That's night shifts. If I work on a Sunday, which I have been lately, they put me on a lot of Sundays because there's a lot of work that goes on on Sundays. They have me working on Sundays. I get paid just under $60 an hour for those shifts. $60 an hour for working on a Sunday shift. Very sweet. So what else is there? Um, I think the main, the main benefits. Point bonus number three is that you don't have to wake up first thing in the fucking morning. I don't mind spending the whole night awake. I don't feel tired. I don't feel tired. When I'm driving home from work, I feel fine. I feel happy as a happy as anything. So when I drive to work, normally when I drive to work for a day shift. I'd have to be up at 5.30, 5, 5.30, drive to work, wait for half an hour from the startup. I don't like waking up at 5.30, guys. That really takes a huge toll on my body. It really does. It, it, it makes... You know, what are you doing, Scooty? Oh, my cat chasing the bird. You don't have to worry about waking up in the early hours of the morning. For me, I would much rather stay awake all night. I don't get tired at night. In the mornings when I wake up, I feel tired. I feel like I haven't rested enough. So, 
there's that. You, you, when, when, I, when I go to work, I leave at about 4.30. I get to the job site, which isn't that close to me at about 6. Or just before 6. We start up at 6. So I get there about 5 or 5.30. And, um... So, yeah. I, uh, I'd, I, when, I'm, when I normally wake up in the mornings, if I'm working morning shifts or day shifts, I'd have to get up super early. Uh, I don't want to get out of bed. I, um... I hate driving to work. It feels like I'm nodding off. Like I'm still really tired while I'm driving. I'm not nodding off. It's not dangerous, but I, I do feel tired while I'm driving to work. And when I'm at work, I normally turn up early. So when I'm at work, I have a bit of a snooze and it doesn't look good when your boss sees you snoozing, even if you're there early. So um, that's a good thing about um, night shifts is that you don't have to wake up early. And for me, I, I don't mind staying up all night. I could stay up from six... I could stay up from... So I get home, what, I wake up at about 11 o'clock. I would say I wake from 11 o'clock, easily, go all the way through till 6 in the morning. And I go to bed, I take my pills, I go to bed, and I go to sleep, and I'm asleep till 12 and, or 11, depending on what time I get home, either 11 or 12, and I've got the rest of the day until my next shift. So that's definitely a bonus. Like, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate waking up early, especially that early in the morning. When you're waking up at 5.30, 5.36 o'clock to get to work by 7 or 6.30, or sometimes even earlier than that, often earlier than that. I don't like it. But, um... Yeah, no, definitely. Night shifts are definitely something you should consider. You get paid a lot more. There's no traffic on the, on the road. It's a lot quieter getting, from, at least from work, back home. So... What else? Oh, what else can I say? Oh... Not sure what to say. It's really good. It's a good gig. Yeah, okay. Well, if you're considering doing notches, you should. You definitely should. It's like doing working on a winter's day, even in summer, I'm assuming. I, I've only worked for a few months, so I've only really worked during autumn and winter. It has been cold. I would like I wear three layers of clothing. But um definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. So, all right, thanks guys. I hope this has helped. Let me know if you're thinking of doing night shifts. I highly recommend you do it. It's so much better. Like I said, 90% of the traffic, gone. It's quiet, it's cool. You don't have to worry about the sun anymore. It's, it's sweet. All right, anyway, they're the reasons why I recommend you do night shifts, guys. So um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, like and subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll get back to you. Thank you. Bye.